Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Your Tech today. So I have a new product today to unbox for you. It is the Chiku Q Terra. It is a new phone launched in the market and it's exclusively available on gadgets360.com and uh, it is an NDTV venture, a new website. It is uh, from a company called Chiku, uh, which is a uh, company launched by Coolpad itself. So uh, Coolpad is launching these phones, these high-end phones with the name Chiku. That's the information I have. So as you can see, the packaging is quite nice from Gadgets 360. So I'm going to be opening this phone up for the first time. And it's only for you, you people, my lovely, lovely subscribers and all of you who are watching my channel right now. So let's open this. Another protective bubble wrap. Give me a second, guys. Okay. Let's throw that away. Wow. The packaging is really nice. It's sort of like a book. So this is not a review unit, this is actually the retail unit which is there in India and uh, I have ordered this, bought it and I'm going to show it to you guys. Let's open the seal. Really interesting packaging, really interesting box. Okay, let's see what's there. So, Chico, it's pronounced Chico. Uh, Chico Terra 8692-102, screen size is 6 inches, RAM is 3 GB, 16 GB ROM. It has dual cameras, which I'll show you. Front 8 megapixel camera, which is also a very good camera. 3700 mAh battery, a very good thing. And let's look at, so, sorry guys, my voice might be a little bad, I have a throat infection. So you can see it's United Tele Links in Bangalore itself. So I ordered it and I got it in one day, which was very nice. It's made in China. Let's check the SAR values. It's 0 0.6 watts per kg for the head and 0.5 watts per kg for the body that's a uh, good enough for uh, SAR rating month of manufacture December 15 and uh, just you can pause the video and see if you're interested okay let's open this up so nice feel like reading a book for the first time Really innovative thinking to pack a product like this. So you can read these things if uh, by pausing the video. I will go through this when we see the phone. So here is the phone. Let's take it out. And this is the end of the book. Sorry, this is not the end. There is another compartment comes with this USB cable wow such beautiful quality so this USB cable does have an LED in it which lights up when you press this button and when this is plugged in okay A wall adapter so 5 volts 2 amperes or 2000 milliamps. Okay. What else? A nano to micro SIM adapter. Good thing. Another box. The SIM ejector tool. We'll take it out. We'll need it. Oh. 
screen protector from the company itself. Hmm. Nice. And a case. We'll have a look at that also. And some documentation. User's guide. Warranty card. They have a customer support number for India. I think they should uh, be the same service center as, as the cool pad. There is no list of service centers, but I'll try to find it and probably put it in the description. Okay, let's keep these things aside. Check the phone itself. Okay, so the phone feels so good. It's like feels so solid in the hand. There's no flex. So the phone is built with a combination of magnesium and aluminium. So Chiku likes to call it magnalium. And they have done an amazing job on the build quality, I feel. It's a it's an okay size device. It's not a small device, not too large also, at least for my hands. As you can see, I have large hands, I feel. So let's take a look at the front first. So you have a 6 inch full HD IPS panel display. You have your front facing camera which is 8 megapixel with a pixel size of 1.4 micrometer which is a very good thing. It will give you nice low light performance. The earpiece, some sensors, there is a notification LED over here which when we switch on we will see. Three touch capacitive buttons but they are not backlit, we will just check it once when you switch it on. On the back it says um, uh, some information so there's a micro sim and a hybrid slot it is a dual sim phone but you can either use a uh, mem memory card or a micro sim a nano sim actually so some more information and let's peel this off where do i peel this off okay wow then it says Chiku powered by 360, that is the OS and cool pad, right there. Fingerprint sensor, dual 13 megapixel cameras. So one is a Sony IMX278 sensor and a IMX214 sensor which only takes pictures in monochrome. And then the software combines the two and gives you brilliant results. I feel the IMX214 also helps in HDR uh, situations. So we will have a look at that later. A dual LED flash. The finishing on the back is amazing. It's a unibody design. There are no gaps. It, it feels like it has been built with care and high you know, manufacturing process. Okay, now look at this side. There are two SIM trays. So, absolutely flush with the body, you can't even feel them. On the bottom, you have a microphone, micro USB and a speaker out. And on this side, you have a power unlock button and volume rocker. Again, absolutely flush with the body. No wiggle of any sort. Feels like they are made of metal. On the top 3.5 mm headphone jack. So, on the sides, they, they have a sort of a chamfered edge like my Note 4 or some of the Samsung devices. Feels really good. It's a very thin device. I don't know exactly how thin it is, but it should be about less than 9 mm. And uh, it has a curve to the back side. It's a 165 degree curve as the company says. So on the front you have the screen which has very thin bezels. So Chiku says that it has the th thinnest bezels in the world in any phone which is 1.4 mm. So I don't know whether it's true or not but let's check it out. And uh, the thickness is 8.6 mm. 
and uh, let's switch it on. So let's remove this front fin. I love doing this. Whoa. Whoa, that's a loudspeaker. The quality of that speaker was very nice. So I will just show you the basic setup. Wow. Feels beautiful. I'll also plug in the phone for charging. As you can see guys, nice feature in the dark if you can't find the micro USB port. Just press this button and the LED comes up. Very nice. And these are gold plated connectors. Feels really good the build quality of the cable. already there is a software update so I have done a basic uh, setup of the device which is putting in my Wi-Fi password and uh, you know uh, go logging into my Google account so as soon as I did that I I got an update of the software which was 23 MB so I completed the software update also and then Google Play Store apps also got updated and whatever apps were there in the system they've also got updated so that was not a problem. So let's put in a SIM card and I wanted to show you what is the process of putting the SIM card or a memory card. So these are the two trays. Remove the first tray. This tray only supports micro SD, uh, sorry, micro SIM. So we'll just put in a micro SIM over here. Both of my SIM cards are ATL. ATL 4G capable. In the second slot, you can either put a memory card like this yep it goes in like this or you can put a micro sim slot uh, my nano sim slot sorry nano sim very delicate so we will put a nano sim and see let's power on the device The screen is a fingerprint magnet. It does not specify whether it has Gorilla Glass protection or not. But I'm sure like the cool pad, it also has some sort of a good glass. Okay, so I changed the wallpaper. I have put in my fingerprint also. So it does work. So it has detected both the SIM cards. And one is getting a 2G connection, second one should get a connection soon. So going into the SIM setup, uh, it has detected both the SIM cards and I'm covering my phone numbers over there. And uh, the first SIM will support up to 4G connection, but the second SIM will only go up to 2G. So both will not be using the 4G connection. So as you can see on the top also, it is on the 2G. And uh, the second SIM is, you know, only on the edge network or the 2G network. But the first SIM is going up to 3G over here. Now let's talk about the viewing angles and the screen itself. I have put the brightness to the maximum. And let's have a look. The viewing angles are just beautiful. The screen is very close to the surface, so it feels like there is no gap. You can see from this side, from the side, and from the top as well. The screen is bright enough and it looks pretty good. Now let's go to the settings and see what uh, Android is it running. So the UI is a little different, the settings menu is also different from other phones. 
so go to more device about the phone so here we can see the model number 16 GB 3 GB RAM uh, full HD 5.1.1 is what it is run running at currently it did get an update for the UI or the system but it did not upgrade the Android version now let's go to the storage so after the updates and everything were complete I have 9.55 GB available and some uh, you know some uh, space was taken by some of the apps which were updated but totally you get about 10.6 GB free at the first boot out of the 16 GB and that you get free after the first boot that is right now it is uh, about uh, 900 MB without the updates which were uh, installed and right now it is using about 1.14 GB of the RAM of 3 GB so you have about uh, 2 GB RAM free which is very good whereas in my Note 4 I was getting about 2.8 GB no sorry 1.8 GB was used and only about 1 GB was free so that's also a good thing let's just put the case also which was supplied with the phone and it fits perfectly it's not covered over here but the edges are covered on the bottom also let's check the camera quickly okay you can see you have to tap to focus shutter speed is quite fast and the gallery also opens up quite quickly so you can see the sharpness it's a fairly good camera we will test it in depth in the camera review it does work for the video it goes up to 4k so it does record 4k also it's instant the fluidity of the device is quite good One more thing I would like to mention which is uh, good about this phone is it has liquid cooling inside. So the processor suppose is over here, it has these heat pipes running and it is uh, dissipating the heat all over the back because it is metal. So and that heat pipes has uh, liquid inside. So as you know the liquid will carry more heat than air and will dissipate it uh, in a better way. So that's also a good feature but we'll test it again in depth when we go, uh, play some games and run some heavy tasks on the device let's quickly check youtube also and see how the speaker and the video quality let's check the unboxing of cool pad the stomach too. is a sack like organ with strong thick muscular wall in addition to holding the foot it is also Baiju's ad hello everyone welcome to another video from your, your tech today today we're going to have a look at the cool pad note 3 the and the front 5 megapixel camera the sound is really good from the speaker and, uh, there's a bass to it the, the highs are good mids are also very is. good this is the multi much different from my note 4 actually it is playing at full so hd the screen looks like it goes from edge to edge but as i switch it on you will see that you will see the similarities the, uh, between the, the cool pad Note 3 and button. this device also you can see the same type of buttons are there I don't think it's coming in the screen is turned off phone as you well. can see it looks like it is till the edges which is a very nice finish on the side there is a volume rocker nice clicky feel again in that soft plastic and so that is good very fast uh, UI I would say all the Google apps come pre-installed so don't think it's a Chinese phone and uh, apps won't come so one more thing that uh, Chiku claims is that they want the user to have a very bloat fair free experience so I can see there are hardly any apps pre-installed in the phone you know uh, like they have not bloated the hell out of the software so there is nothing much installed 
the weather app is there which you can uninstall so the only app which i found which couldn't be uninstalled is the chiku cloud but i think there will be a way to unlock this app and uninstall it the freezer also is a app where you can put in uh, some apps which use uh, which you don't want them to use or run in the background you can put it in this and it will just not let it run in the background fingerprint is there i have added two fingers right now and uh, let's see whether we can add some more so let me add this one pretty fast let me add one more this is just a test at how many fingerprints can the phone registered okay So it makes a map out of you have to change the finger position to uh, you know register it properly five so five are allowed let's check it out let me see it works so as you use the fingerprint i've seen that it improves it keeps on studying your finger more and more even after you register it there's one more thing called speed up which clears up the background processes nice thing there is themes uh, this thing changes the wallpaper once you press it that's also nice quick and easy Check the photo gallery app pretty fast especially coming from a samsung phone i feel this is really fast because i never experienced this on my note 4 at least which is also a very powerful device again we will go to the settings and i will show you what and all it comes like so there is a heat source thing which shows you can set a high temperature when the phone reaches that temperature it will start beeping so it tells the normal uh, temperature of the CPU right now. So we'll go in detail about all this in the full review. So I hope guys you liked this video and the first look at the Chiku Q Terra. And I will be coming up with more videos about the device and other devices also. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, dislike the video uh, as you feel appropriate. And please uh, make sure you share the video and subscribe to the channel. Most of the people who are watching my videos are not subscribing. I don't know why. So I will, if you feel the quality is bad or something, I will try to improve it. Just give me a chance. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.